school sports start this week as well. One final day of summer break, kind of off to a muggy start. Definitely a very muggy start. If you guys are headed out to the hike and bike or out to play some golf this morning, I hope you guys don't mind some sweat because the humidity is definitely up. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also actually had a couple showers in the area. Here's a live picture from our KXAN exclusive camera out at the Hyatt Regency Lost Pines Resort in Bastrop County. Very serene picture there coming to us from the golf course. You can see those trees reflecting in the pond there. Doesn't look like any showers right now in Bastrop, but we have seen some around the area this morning. If you, if you uh, are under one of those showers, don't expect expect much out of it. Just a little bit of drizzle and these clouds, I assure you, will be burning off very quickly as we get through the morning hours. Uh, these clouds and the humidity have really kept our temperatures up pretty high overnight. We haven't been able to do better than 78 in a lot of places. It's 79 right now downtown and in Georgetown. A little bit cooler out to the west as usual. 77 in Lakeway, 76 in Blanco, and a 73. Very nice reading out there in Fredericksburg. Here's the water vapor and radar loop for the past few hours. You can see all this white over Texas representing a lot of moisture in the atmosphere. But the main disturbance in the atmosphere is off to our north in the Red River Valley, bringing some showers and storms up there. So the best we can hope for uh, here in central Texas are maybe some sea breeze showers and storms that look like they're already starting to fire up here along the coast. Yesterday, we were actually lucky enough to get one of those in town, giving Camp Mabry just uh, one one hundredth of an inch. But hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, back to Tropical Storm Isaac. All eyes are on Isaac today. Uh, and for the next few days, I'm sure the latest advisory puts it at 65 miles per hour, making it a strong tropical storm. Uh, this is an advisory as of one hour ago. Movement is off towards the west-northwest at 20 miles per hour, making a beeline for the middle and lower keys near Key West, Marathon Key, places like that. And over the next 24 hours, this should turn into a Category 1 hurricane. Conditions are definitely favorable for some strengthening. So this is the official track from the National Hurricane Center. Now, yesterday it was off to the east, Panhandle. We were looking at Tallahassee, places around there. But now all the models have shifted consistently westward. And this is actually sort of a conservative track. A lot of the models have it even further westward possibly bringing it into eastern Texas. But uh, wherever it goes, this will be a large hurricane. It should be a powerful hurricane. Uh, look at that. Wednesday morning, it should be 105 miles per hour. That's a Category 2 hurricane. And we're definitely hoping that it doesn't make landfall in New Orleans on Wednesday because that would be the seventh anniversary of the most costly hurricane in U.S. history, uh, Hurricane Katrina, of course. So we'll keep our fingers crossed that that does not happen. Clouds and radar forecast for the local area. We're looking at about a 20% chance of a pop-up shower or storm today, uh, about the same for tomorrow. So today, 98 degrees with a gusty south-southeasterly wind bringing in that moisture. And again, we'll see about a 20% chance of an afternoon shower or storm making it this far north. Uh, tonight, 76. Those showers will be clearing out, but we'll see a lot of low clouds, a lot of humidity sort of like we're seeing right now this morning. Okay, here's your seven-day. We're holding a 20% chance of some sea breeze showers for the next three days. Temperatures will be warm. We might hit 100 uh, tomorrow. And then after a cool front moves through on Wednesday, it won't really do much for our temperatures, but it will bring us some drier air. Now, as I mentioned, if there is a powerful hurricane in eastern Texas or near there on Thursday and Friday, it will definitely have an impact on our weather. So we'll keep our eyes on that for you. Brian?